Good morning everyone. It's not quite 8 o'clock. It's Saturday morning. We have a yard sale happening over there. And while that's going on, we're going to start taking the top end off this engine. Well, pretty much just the throttle body and plant them. And we're going to replace the uh, fuel injector and um, in number 5. <laughs> so, I'm going to get the hood up. I'll get you set up. I'm just going to breeze through it. I'll speed you up because this is not a how-to video. If you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> but So, this is just, you know, progress on the Corvette. So, let's get into it. <laughs> should take the time to buff that out but I don't have the time to buff it out so all right. just checking if there might be anywhere that that would be a leak I sprayed some starting fluid around it last time I had it running and it didn't change so it wasn't sucking any air anywhere let's see if I got another gasket for that so what we're going to do now is over here right there I'm going to unhook the fuel lines I really hate taking these off if I don't have to might have to but <laughs> anyway we'll see I got to Take them fuel lines off over there. There's just two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll bring you back when I get ready to pop this up out of here. Then that's what we're going to do. I'll see if I can do it without taking the plantum runner, whatever, off of it. And then uh, go from there. <laughs> taking those runners off of there but I'm not sure right. take this clip off of here I'm 
mean, you really can't tell by looking at them. But I'm going to inspect this more. That one's missing an O-ring. I've got to put an O-ring on it. This O-ring stayed in up at the top. Yeah. Let me see here. Buddy Ryan's here. He don't like to be on film. Anyway, yeah, that's that's clogged. So I'll be back with you. Hang tight. Okay, guys. So here's one of the ones I took out. The original. Well, the ones he had in it. I don't think they're original, original, but. See that down inside there? Now if you look at this one, here let me take this off. You can't see down in there. See that? It's clogged up. And I don't know what that is. It's not rust. There we go. See that down in there? Lighting's kinda iffy out here today but um so yeah you get the idea it's um yeah it's it's full of stuff See that? Stuff that just came out of there. It's not rust. I don't know what it is. Some kind of gunk. I probably could have ran fuel injector cleaner in it. Might have broke that up. But... Yeah, I'm not sure what that stuff is. It is a brown color, but it's not rust. It's not metallic. Because there's no rust in that tank, because it could be something from the line, from the steel part of the line, but that tank, yeah, it's steel, but it's lined. It's got like a rubber lining in it, plastic or whatever they use. There's no rust in that tank, so. And this one's already clean. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this put in. And we'll get it put back together. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, i got to put this clip on here. So, yeah, my buddy Ryan just stopped by. He's the one I, I did the, uh, the lawnmower for and the uh, pressure washers and stuff like that. So I might have something going on this week. We'll have to see, but hopefully, if everything goes right, we will. So there we go. Uh, I am going to spray this one out a little bit. Looks pretty good down in there with some some spray. But uh, yeah, that was our that's our misfire. So that's why it was still working. It was just clogged. You know, the uh, there's a solenoid inside of here. That's why it was clicking. But it couldn't get no fuel because that was plugged up. Awesome. Alright, got to get back to work. Okay guys, so what I've done is I put it in there. Seems to be in right. I'm going to go ahead and put the four bolts back in, hook my lines back up. And I'm going to turn the key on and see if we got any leaks. If we have no leaks, we should be good to go. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to put those four bolts in and, that, and hook up those lines, and then we'll check it for leaks. Okay, guys, so I cycled the key eight or nine times, maybe ten. No leaks, but it had pressure because I checked it at the, at the shredder valve. It's got plenty of pressure in it. No leaks. So I'm, going to, I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and put the... Uh, throttle body back on I won't bore you with that you saw me take it off I know it was fast but 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on there and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay guys, so <clears throat> we got it running. Um, I put this injector in and it didn't work. <laughs> so I take it all back apart and I cleaned the one we took out that was clogged. I cleaned it and put it in. Seems to be all right now. We're gonna start it up and I'll show you. I'll give it some RPMs and when I unplug this injector on number five, now you'll hear the engine change. You couldn't do that before. So. I will rev it up a little bit. And you'll be able to hear the RPMs. So it's running on all eight again, finally. Okay guys, so here's another episode of the Corvette. Um, so I'm gonna pick up my tools and then a little bit later, we're gonna try this out. Ryan gave it to me, but not only that, he gave me two. So we're gonna try these out later and uh, see how well they work. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it. and. Like I said, I'm going to pick up my tools and uh, get the hood back down on this thing. We'll chat with you on the next one. Shea Brothers, Mr. Man of Legend, gone for now. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.